Hello, welcome to Down with Dragons here on Twitch, a Monsters of Roll. I am DM Scott. With me, as always, Adam playing Loon Sense at Home, Peacemaker. Chris playing Theobald Blackstaff, and Mick playing Callan Den, the Fool. Mm. Been a week. How's everybody doing? Still rolling. Yeah. Still rolling. Still moving through. <laughs> That's good. Um, I have a little housekeeping. We'll just start off the bat. I'm going to just uh, share my screen. Uh, for any future additions anyone would like to make uh, to Down With Dragons for What's in Callan's Mouth, uh, an ever-growing table uh, of fun little effects and things that could possibly happen and maybe come out of Callan's Mouth. Uh, please feel free to send to down with dragons mailbag at gmail.com and in the subject line callan's mouth also inspiration if you'd like to give any of our players inspiration uh help them out in their time of need give them a much needed re-roll or if they've saved them give themselves advantage or all kinds of things um subject line inspiration and then to down with dragons mailbag at gmail.com speaking of inspiration oh i got a multi-inspiration tonight all righty loon you get an inspiration callan you get an inspiration theo you get an inspiration yeah and i get an inspiration Ah. (laughs) Hey, 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 technically <laughs> I'm being gracious. I was given two, but I'm just gonna just, I'm just you gonna take my one. Two? I was, because I, I get take two. Fine, take no, two. No, we don't I, about this for the rest of I'm still saving up. From now. <laughs> I've I, got a little <laughs> yeah. I don't need it. I, 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 I've, I've got my little stockpile. Oh, yeah. yeah stockpile, oh, huh? Shoot, yeah, yeah. I suppose he could do that too. Uh, yeah, because, uh, and I, you know, I'm still looking for the perfect idea, but I have definitely got it narrowed down to obviously, we're going to only save up to five. Five is your max. Oh, okay. So uh, one inspiration, you get to reroll, obviously. Uh-huh. Use two points of inspiration, you get to reroll with advantage. Three and four. I keep tossing around. I'm not sure on those. Uh, Anybody, uh, down with dragons, mailbag. If any suggestions, what you think three or four should be for those points. But five is a twist of fate. And a twist of fate you can use to basically give a little something that maybe narratively has no business to happen. A stroke of luck, a little miniature deus ex machina of, you know, you fail a skill challenge or a certain skill check and you're swinging from a rafter and you fail. But instead of that rope breaking to your doom, maybe a banister, you use that, you know, twist of fate and a banister breaks and a, you know, pallet of fluffy pillows lands underneath you, you know, just, you know, just, (laughs) Something stupid that should not happen, but I'm willing to let you spend those points on those. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Or vice versa, if I use them. Only up to five, you said. Up to five. We'll we'll we'll, we'll cap it at five. Oh. How many do you have? More Me? than five. Do you really? He, he has more than five. Uh, oh I have gosh. five. Uh, uh. <laughs> so I figure so it doesn't get crazy and out of hand uh we'll, we'll we'll have a nice cap because that encourages to use a little bit more but callan you uh don't have to just ditch what you have i just say uh maybe use some and get you to the five limit tonight okay poke down uh, that trash that's coming out of your mouth yeah exactly <laughs> um so that being said uh i am going to try to remember because unfortunately i was not sent uh, an actual email that i could just look at right now and use um but so I'm not even going to try to get it right because I know I'll screw it up. So each of you get inspiration for uh, being your awesome selves. Uh, I know one specifically, and I'm not trying to uh, harden the blow, but part of the reason for Theobald was because secondly, you know, he needs it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
but thank you yes but thank part you. of that needs it wasn't a mean it was a fact of you've used it so many times in skill check challenges or whatever where it's like you would have failed otherwise and that saved your butt and it's like he needs that spare tire you know <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Thank you for whoever else out there recognizes that, I need help. <laughs> yeah, you work so hard, you deserve it. I mean, <laughs> good I, I think job, on, Theo. You do so good, man. I like, think on I that note, me, the, and I need help. Yes. The the easy solution for my extra inspiration is to give them to my teammates. Oh, just now. I I have no problem with uh, sharing the inspiration. Okay, so yep. Give them all, give them all to me, and I'll on. burn through them in a day here. That's uh, yeah, Theo can have them. I don't no, know. No, just one each. You know? one, yeah. Oh, okay. right, he right. didn't have like twenty yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I Not kept yet. it before we got there. <laughs> I mean, dude, he's good. Like we don't know. I don't keep track. Well, you should. <laughs> all right. So that being said, last time on Down with Dragons. The halfway crew made their way out of the old silver mine with Avrilos urging them on due to, as they found out, many dead things coming and converging on their position. Diana woke up. She wasn't feeling as hot as normal. Was a little bit uh, bitey. Uh, eyes glowing uh, after a scuffle between Theobald and Loon, uh, Callan managed to get right back into the, the tunnel just to see some glowing eyes take off deeper down back into the mine. Uh, after a little back and forth, the group decided eh, now might be the right time to go. And as they all mounted up and took off, many creatures started coming out of the forest in all states of decay. Uh, and even then, uh, one of being a wolf, Count wasn't sure if it was right one, but thankfully there was a tree with a road sign pointing that away. <laughs> the group charged forward a very long and arduous escape through the forest, trying to remember to the right path and evade and keep the creatures at bay and managed to get out of the forest area just in just as the last creature that loom caught eyes with was the young theron who they thought they had scared into safety turns out he didn't make it they make their way back to highport and a very short-lived reunion unfortunately for callan as Avrilos has to unfortunately part ways with him again after just so quickly reuniting with Callan leaves. Um, Callan upset, uh, Loon a little dazed from the exhaustion and what he saw with young Theron. Theo took it upon himself to give everybody just a moment and kind of settled up with the mayor of Highport and got a payment plus a little bonus, but in a act of uh, true kindness, uh, it was left there for whenever, hopefully, fingers crossed, Diana comes back. And if she does not, uh, to be given to her younger brother. After the contract was finalized, the group uh, met up with Blink and Apex and Ever. Oh, and that, that teleportation, that took place uh oh and i forgot a book was shut down the, the, not a small thing mm -hmm. uh silly grizzle managed to shut down the the book uh and we kept it from starting it back up again correct it was very easy to <laughs> shut down because she didn't realize she was shutting it down but then after discovering it was a thing that could be turned on and off she was quite curious um it was yeah. in a pure quarantine style tome <laughs> Um, the group then goes uh, with Blink to get teleported uh, back to Dragonlock and the Scalebound. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't always work perfectly. And the group was in a hurricane of weird energies, perhaps Silly's fault, uh, thrown far and wide off to the west coast of uh, Karat as they found out into the Deadwood. 
near the Dragon Claw Mountains, potentially, because those are in the area and they're big. <laughs> um, upon getting there and falling literally out of the sky, the group trailing, uh, or the group uh, recovering from this energy that was still filling them wasn't as tired as they were before, though the fall hurt. And were immediately set upon by a barbarian tribe of Goliaths. And they went back into survival mode. Uh, some choosing, thinking to fight, others to, we gotta go. And all of a sudden, uh, another mysterious figure shows up and helps them in this, once again, kind of unbalanced moment. And upon getting them out of there, uh, we discover that apparently it's a man called Mr. Smith. And you all make your way uh, after some time of trying to hide your trail, lose any pursuit. He leads you to a small cave. Uh, it's about, at this point, midday. Uh, all of you have made your way into this cave that's covered with some brush. And like, it's very, unless you knew it was there, not easy to see. Make your way in, and Loon then uh, immediately tries to help Mr. Smith due to the fact of, in a way, it's a ghost from his past. A father-esque figure, uh, kind of in the early informative years uh, before the monastery you found, but uh, he's wounded, and after uh, getting out the arrow and dressing, found that he's in worse shape than even that. And he, after finally giving in to his wounds, the last thing he says after Loon asked of, you know, why? <laughs> says, I made a promise to your mother. And then passes out. Mm -hmm. That is where we're going to pick up right now. Uh, he has just fallen unconscious. You are in a little cave. Um, there's a little bit of room in here. Uh, there's a small fire obviously uh there looks to be a nice little uh kind of assembled bed area uh and a few other little things here and there uh like a you know backpack and you know over in one area there's a few scattered food bits and things hanging look like probably smoking uh it's not a huge area but it's fairly secure feeling uh, can someone help me uh, <sighs> trying to set him down um gently kind of tapping him like come on come on hey we're not done yet what are you about to tell me what, what about my mother yeah he's very unresponsive right now yeah kind of just if if you get anything it's just like you know yeah um yeah definitely gonna bust another key point and and, and do my hands of healing on him oh okay uh yeah three plus what is it? 1d4 plus 2. So 6. 6 okay. points of healing back into him. So yeah, he. Uh, you see where that arrow was. Those wounds start to seal up and leave a very fresh scar. Yeah. Because for anybody who cares, any kind of healing that happens still leaves scars. Because it should. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, so he doesn't wake he up, doesn't wait, but, doesn't wake he, up. but you can see almost like his breathing for a moment does be a little less labored. Okay. Now, that, what is, I don't, uh, Carlo, do you have a pillow or something? I have a bit of, of, of old garment I could use to put under his head here. I don't want him sleeping on the rock. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Here, here you go. Uh, Callan will see uh, Loon Sensenome's distress and, and come over to help. Um, Who is murdering a dog? Tr and try to uh, <laughs> add to the healing with his healing light, a charge of healing light. Oh, okay. Uh, yep. And uh, so Loon Sensenome, who is this man? Well, uh, as I'm like taking the the pillow and trying to fix him up, uh, uh, this was uh, long before my time at the monastery. He uh, he's the one I grew up with. Huh? He's the one I uh, learned with, trained with. Uh... 
lived my life in isolation with. Uh, huh. He's the man who protected me for so long and then decided to abandon me to the monastery, never to see him again. Hmm. Yeah. Seems like we're all having a lot of blasts from the past to come into our lives. Speaking of, was this man has passed out? Uh, How do you know this merit? Uh, what was his name? Merdit. Merdit. D I T. Uh, Avrilos, my sister, who we just you just met, told me that uh, Merdit is my long lost brother of sorts. So he ended up at the Abbey as well, somehow. I had no knowledge of that until... Well, how? You were there, but you did not know you had a half-brother at the same place? You know... How promiscuous uh, is your is your, is your your lineage? <laughs> uh, there's I, a better I, way of saying that. <laughs> um, there's probably a better way of saying that. Than diverse. <laughs> diverse. I'm yeah. going to give you the benefit <laughs> I of mean, the doubt. I mean, okay. Uh, wisdom versus intelligence. <laughs> like not having the words versus knowing what he wants to say. We're just poking at you. That's oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I think you can understand that um, uh, some of those people we trusted in the past aren't exactly turning out to be. Slug, you've got I gotta uh, keep the mood up there. Are, are are turning out to be uh you know not what we expected. This is ridiculous. I uh, uh, nothing is the way it's supposed to be anymore. Uh, yeah, and you know what, Moon Sensenom, our our pasts are, are seem to be overlapping. Meredith is at the Abbey, supposedly. Uh you and I I graduated before him. He was always kind of a screw around, but he when it came down to it, he got the job done. So what do you know about him? What was he like? Uh, half orc, very fun, very mischievous. Uh, took me uh, out on my first out of the Abbey runs where we got into some serious trouble. Uh, very nearly murdered the two of us did Adrenor after that. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Master Adrenor. He, he... Have you ever had to sit and count individual grains of rice while watching your friends strain under the weight of him, of... It was the most ridiculous things. That seems insane. So let me get this straight. You grew up with his brother, and now you have now, and now, oh. Uh, uh, yes, uh, half orc. Uh, I do not know his other half, uh, although apparently it must be human. Well, human. So this runs in the family is what we're what we're discerning here. Uh, sure. Uh, I, you know, the, the meaning of family has always been pretty loosely defined for me, um, a lot, not by choice on my own, but, um, I've learned to roll with it. Uh, so, and from our childhood, that's just what it was. Uh, I have half work sisters, brothers, orc sisters, brothers, orc uncles, whatever you want to call them. You have a very, how, very how many brave... siblings do you have? Uh, I have a memory of escaping as a youth with three of my siblings. So we have found two, huh? but you did not know about it. I didn't know he was at the Abbey, you know. But you knew of him. Which tells me that there's another secret being held. And while you mentioned Enough Master Adrenor... Enough with the secrets. Ah, this is ridiculous. I kind of see him punch a wall. Sure, with sure. That. Well, well, don't, 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 don't give up on secrets so far because I haven't figured this thing out. Maybe you can help. Master Adrenor gave me this knotted rope, and he says, "I'll figure it out sometime." I haven't figured it out. There is a you... simplistic beauty within this knot that he has given you, and I'll take it from him and just kind of begin to absent-mindedly fiddle with it. The thing about the knot is that you do not think about it. It is something that is worked on in the, in the time that you are not thinking about it. It's something that comes through the subconscious 
of the mind. It allows your brain to shut off and meditate. And as you are meditating, you begin uh, uh, kind of like that. And uh, one of the knots will just be undone. And I'll I better put that back in there, and I'll tie it up again and cinch it. And... No, 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 no! Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so close. How, what? <laughs> so okay, it, I get it, it. it. You're good at you're good at not thinking about things. So it isn't so much about the not thinking about it. It is about giving it a space in your mind that allows it to ruminate on its own. Because sometimes thinking about things at the attacking things in a direct way, it provides results. Maybe not in the way you want them, but it will provide results. No, well, the way to be... think about this knot is not to think about this knot. You'll basically start to hear a little bit of a cough, and you'll hear, I think <coughs> it's one of those things you got to untie your own knots before you can untie those knots. Oh, yes, it is. <gasps> oh, hey, hey. hey. <laughs> uh, now, good, just jump and drop to my knees and right next to him on the floor. Hey, hey. hey. Are you okay? And up water skin up to the mouth and I'll just making sure he's he'll he'll kind of ease you back a little bit and take the water and then uh kind of look at all of you and just any chance any of you wanna make me some tea? Uh I've got some medicine over there. Uh just steep it for five minutes. It's in the in my bag. Uh, I'll crack out the herbalism kit. Mm -hmm. Start working on it. I can offer him my flask. Uh, that, 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 that. No, he does not need that. So he'll, he'll kind of reach out. He's like, well, I mean, that's... Okay. Uh, uh, Mr. Smith? Hey, maybe I this may be is just one a of boy, his knots but do not to untie take on that. his own. I like your friend. What, what's your name? Uh, my name is Callan Den. Hey. Nice to meet you. Uh, are are you okay? <laughs> oh, I've had better days. Uh, ah. We'll take a drink. You'll have a better day right now. I no. <sighs> At least get my tea, and he. I am working on it. <laughs> as no, as you're opening up your herbalism, oh. kit, he's like, no, mine, mine. I'm making it a bit there. Come on, no, no, extra... you make mine, boy. Go. <laughs> I'm growing tired of that already. <laughs> uh, he'll just kind of leave, and as you turn over, he'll just like, give me. <laughs> And if you offer, you he'll go. take a hit real quick and pass it back. You're like, not bad. So no, why? I'll, I'll take a shot of that too while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, you're just kind of stuck it. in the middle of this crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So as he kind of tries to sit up a little bit and he just kind of looks down at where the arrow was, he's like, oh, not too bad. So uh, you're welcome. Thank you. Why, uh, why are you all here? What's good? Like, how, how, <laughs> I mean, Jesus, you've grown, but, uh, <laughs> you're supposed to be halfway across the damn continent. I wish I understood the way magics worked. I uh, you would have to talk to one of my compatriots. And it looks over at you too. Um, I are supposed to be heading back to the dragon scale or the. The Scalebound Guild. Something went screwy. It's kind of just like <sighs> Scalebound. Sorry. I tend to keep a little out of touch with most uh, news. Uh, is scale hmm. We were getting a ride back to Dragonlock and something went bad. Oh, you chose people who do that stuff. Okay. Yeah, horses were far more dependable. <laughs> so loon you quick go into his yep. bag and all that you find very quickly uh little pouches in like a little leather case roll it out and inside there's tons of little mm. little, little pre-packaged little pu pouches yeah this is handy and start making some tea for him yep okay uh yeah it's really yeah, that's <laughs> the, yeah. no I say, just, there can't be anything too just uh, just roll me like uh, I mean, with disadvantage because you're fair. You know, like whatever. You're not focused on this. Just disadvantage uh, for. Let's go with so medicine. We, medicine. Okay, disadvantage on medicine for twelve. For twelve. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, 
Yep. Um, it's all. So, yeah. So you make, you know, you're working on some tea and over the fire, you've got some water going, you know. Uh, and so he kind of, so dragon lock and some crazy magic brought you here and brought you literally to me. And he kind of looks right at you, Loon, and he's like, how much of a coincidence? Uh, you are talking. I, it, I wish I could understand it and explain it. Well, it's day. magic and it's bad. That's why. Well, not that magic is bad. It does come in quite handy every now and then. Yeah, I bet it has some good downsides to it. Okay. Drink or tea. <laughs> So you'll go eventually give him his tea and he'll yeah, yeah, yeah. start drinking it. If you don't uh, mind, Mr. Smith, it was. Yeah. What's our what's our tactical situation here? Oh, completely surrounded. Um, but I mean we got a lot of traps, a lot of uh false trails. Uh spent the better part of six months in this area of the deadwood. Uh they're crawling all around here like ants over an anthill, but don't you worry. We're safe here, at least for the time being. You big any... ants you got there. Well, yeah, they grow them big around here, but... Mm. Uh, any contact with the dragoons? Dragoons? No. Uh, I, I have... Well, I wouldn't say I completely avoid them. From time to time, I have led some of them right into those, and they do good work. Don't ask too many questions. Just eliminate the targets. When's the last time you hooked up with one of their units? Oh, oh. Uh, about four weeks back. Uh, not really even hooked up. Just kind of saw their trail. Found where they were at. Started making my trail real obvious and just let them straight to uh, the Dragoons and some back and forth, but nothing they couldn't handle. You talked to any of them? No. You heard to, no. I... no. No. They're not much for conversation normally, and I only use them to as a diversion if I absolutely need it. So, kind of, and like you can see already, he's drinking his tea. He's looking better. Uh, already kind of sitting more up straight coughing a little less and he's so tell me i gotta ask uh how the hell are you even out of the monastery master agenor was supposed to keep you there master agenor decided it was time for me to move on but enough of the pleasantries and the in the good keepings here who are you really um, do not. Who do you think me. I? Who do you think I am, boy? And don't bring that tone to me. I do not know who you are. In fact, I am beginning to realize that many people are lying to me in my life. It is beginning to become tiresome, and I do not mean to be rude or uh, seem uppity, if it were. Uh, but I, I need answers. Well. I'm assuming, whether it be magic or screwing with the gods, you're here for some sort of reason. So you want to know who I am. I don't have a ton of time, probably, so I might as, I'll tell you what I can. I guess, uh, what, I'm, my name's Gabriel. Uh, Gabriel Smith, I am a hunter, and I've been your caretaker since the day I met you. <clears throat> you met me. What? What do you mean you met me? Well, your mother brought her to brought me to, you to me. <clears throat> your mother was my wife. I. <sighs> Yeah, uh, and he kind of looks over at you, Cal, and he's like, uh, he's going to want a few. Uh, yeah, <laughs> just kind of boom, sit on the ground. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll help him sit down. Um, I'm going to 
try to pickpocket his little orb at this time and see if I can just yeah. figure it out <laughs> while he's uh, distracted. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely. Now's the time. Uh, yeah. No. I. Give yeah. Me a oh, slide just pass see. <laughs> With oh, advantage. Oh, yeah. No. I'm taking give it to a. Him. <laughs> I would give it to him. <laughs> okay. With advantage. There's no way uh, you're gonna fail at this. Eighteen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Real quick, kind of just you know the area he keeps that little little pouch now, mm -hmm. uh, and you yeah. just quick like buddy, buddy, yeah, 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 come on, and you just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still perplexed on what happened, so I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, no, yeah. I get it. It's like I couldn't have done this, could have I? <laughs> I'm looking at it and like. <laughs> So yeah, uh, you're held down graciously. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a bright light. Oh, uh, he kind of uh, after you sits down. Uh, all right. Your I I, I do not understand. My my, my mother yes. wasn't. Your mother and I were married for many years. We lived on a homestead, a little farm, just probably half a day not even from the monastery lived in the woods to the south and you know, I mean, your mother was beautiful i don't know what she saw in me but uh, mm -hmm. we married and had two beautiful children and i was in town trading some furs some extra food getting ready for winter When I got back, there was smoke. And those animals took your mother. I found out after, but I thought I couldn't find anything left of her body, but I found, I suppose your brother and sister. And you'll see, I mean, real just goes dark for a, real, a good beat. And um, I, and I, I, lo I, lo I lost her. She was, she was gone. I spent months, weeks, years. I, <laughs> not real sure on some of that time. Um, Master Agenor probably knows better he tried to visit a couple times um but he uh i started visiting the homestead where i buried what i could find and then one day a meal was there with a baby you she was near death and made me promise to keep the boy safe. And then, and then my wife, who I thought was already dead, died again. I'll be honest, I'm not, I wasn't probably the best father of any kind to you because I'll be honest, I hated you for quite a while you were the product of barbarians that stole my wife and but i tried to do right by her and i tried to teach you how to survive well about Pretty much the day before you, I dropped you off at the monastery. A small scouting party found us. You were on your own doing a, one of your, your first real lone hunts, tracking. And you had lost, lost that deer and said you could do it. So I let you go off. I wasn't too far away. And that's when they found us. They questioned me asking about a young Goliath boy 
and a escaped slave woman. So I killed them and kept one of them alive and questioned him. You apparently are a product of the chieftain. And there's some sort of issue with you just being alive. So I... Would I, would, I, would I know anything about how Goliath's structure is rated to know that perhaps... Roll me a history check with disadvantage, because yeah. I'll be honest, this kind of knowledge would probably be of on purpose steered away from. Yeah, seven. Okay. No. I mean, other than you know they're nomadic tribes, they raid sometimes, depending on the tribe. Yep. It, yeah. <laughs> um. Hmm. And uh, and I knew I couldn't couldn't keep you safe with me anymore. So I brought you to Master Agenor, told him everything, and he was more than happy to take care of his nephew. So I found another one of those waited for the next scouting party to show up laid my traps killed all but one and told them i had hidden you far away and if they wanted to find out they had to come get me and i started heading west as long as they were finding me they weren't anywhere near you and then kind of looks over all of you a little bit and just kind of retouches where that arrow got him. He's like, I thought I've done pretty well so far. You are crazy. You are stupid. And I cannot believe the amount of respect I feel for you right now. Uh, don't worry. I'm pretty much a jerk. Your mother knew it. You should too. You know, I had a lot of anger. I said I've been abandoned once more by the man who I'd gone to trust. Yeah, you couldn't know everything at your age. You didn't need that weight. Somehow I want to still be angry. But Aginor treats you right. He treated me as best as I could imagine ever being treated. It was not fun, but it was all necessary. Well, he's a hard ass too, but... Mm. It seems I have a few of those in my life. Perhaps you know, uh, she didn't mention anything about... And I kind of just run my finger across my, my shoulders and everything. And uh, for, and I'll just pull the cloak off and you none of you would have seen this. And I pull the knife out. And with it comes the strand... And eventually it all unravels and it's just purple blistered skin all across my shoulders and upper tor torso and back. Well, uh, he kind of looks at it and you see I not worked. that he understands exactly what it is or anything like that. But boy, you were born to the wrong apparently person and born under a bad sign for them i can only imagine some of that is tied to that because they've been wanting to find you with a religious fervor hmm. I, I have done all of my own searching on it i cannot find anything similar i do not know anything about it and yet here i am living with it just kind of touching it absent-mindedly before slowly starting to wrap up again and you remember this eh the first hunt the first successful one you uh he kind of you see a little bit of a smirk he's like you still got that i mean here i mean it's rusted just... i haven't kept great care of it but yeah uh he, he'll hold out his hand to take it from you and look yeah. at it and he'll look at it and he's 
you haven't been keeping this in any good shape. I mean, these were meant to be used and properly looked after. I have decided I'm pretty that, sure I uh, taught you better than that. And I, you did. I, as a blacksmith, I, I took to a blacksmithing at the for, at the uh, at the monastery, and I, I know the proper care of of, of blades. But uh, well, I, I guess I couldn't say I ever had a good reason to uh, keep it in good condition, considering I rarely used it. It uh, does not come into use very often. Yeah, I tend not to do a whole lot of uh, hurting things. Kind of, really. You looked pretty eager to throw down with those boys charging. I was hoping more to uh, intimidate them into stopping for just a moment to uh, perhaps engage in a uh, conversation about uh, what's going on. But apparently, <laughs> I know very little about. The, uh, yes, apparently, I know very little about the way this world works. Yeah, they, they're not big talkers. Wow, I mean, you can get them to sing pretty well if you use the right leverage, but. Yeah. It is unfortunate that I know what you are talking about. Um, you, uh, as much as I, uh, and you can see kind of all of this, uh, you can see he's uncomfortable talking about some of the stuff he just brought up. And he's just like, you know, I think I need to stretch. He'll be good for me. Uh, T did the trick. I'm going to. Just go check our back trail. A few traps, you boys. Just relax. I need to just a few minutes. And he's going to just kind of move past and out I'll of the cave. Kind of tap Theobald. Could you put the owl on him? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Surreptitiously. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah, he uh, heads out. And uh, you'll very quickly, uh, especially with Al Theobald, you'll see uh, him definitely do a little bit of checking here and there. Uh, but eventually, you'll see him kind of move off uh, towards a creek and just kind of just sit by it. And just, you can see he's in his head. Mm. Relay that on to Loon. He's fine. He's I do not know what to do here. I, I, I want to comfort him. I want to talk to him. I want to know more, but I, what more can I possibly know? I, must, I have a mother. I, of course I have a mother. I was born, but the chieftain? I, I, I never would I once have thought of, of being of power. I, I'm no one. Who am I? Apart from title of peacemaker at the at the scale bound, what am I? Another individual just roaming this planet uh, without real purpose at this point. No. Uh, I, 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 I just, I, I don't know. I, there are so many questions in my head, that, and 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 the answers do seem so far away. And I've learned so much more, and yet. You ever feel like the more you know, the further things seem away from you? The further they, 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 they run from you? It's called getting old, Moon. Oh, please. I am not even past my 30s. <laughs> yeah, knowledge isn't all that it's cracked up to be. I need something to drink of my own, and I'll crack out my herbalism kit and start making something. Um, Would you like everyone? Anything? Everyone, um... Callan, I'm going to give you advantage. Uh, Loon, I'm going to give you disadvantage. Yeah. I'm... Theobald, you're flat. Just roll me a perception check. Because especially Ooh. now that he starts to break out his herbalism kit and start to make something himself, and it's changing the, the scent in the cave. Seven. Okay. Nope. Roll the 14. nat 20, so that's an 18. Ooh. Because <laughs> he's got yeah. the minus one. Theobald, what do you have? 14. 14. Oh my gosh. Um, Theobald, you, like, nothing that rings any bells, but there's something that's like, I smelled that before. You know, <laughs> that's about it. Callan, as that new scent hits, it'll kind of all of a sudden ding, ding, ding in your brain. You know that smell that was his tea. Mm hmm. Wait, but it's my herbalism kit. Oh, no, you made from his tea. Like, I'm saying the difference in the smell now in the air, like what 
that tea was. Oh. Tea that you're making now is triggering. Yeah. Wait a minute. You guys were all distracted hearing Smith. everything. Oh, and gotcha, now gotcha, that gotcha, all of a gotcha, sudden gotcha, it's gotcha, a quiet gotcha, gotcha, moment, gotcha, gotcha, the gotcha, smell gotcha. changes. And it's like, wait, wait a, a second. Yeah. Because especially what it is. Oh, dear. Uh, oh, Callie, dear. you know the smell. It's called Crimson Doom. Uh, it's a... That doesn't sound great. <laughs> from a crimson... You don't know any of this. I don't know. No. Uh, from a crimson tree that is known to be in the Deadwood. Uh, it's a kind of mixture of leaves and the root and the bark that are all kind of traditionally served in a tea. That is the way that this specific narcotic is ingested. That's because you have a nat 20 to it, and I, you know, you, you're kind of an alchemist, and so you've got, you know, I'm going to tell you exactly what it does. <laughs> Short term? Gives you advantage on perception checks, strength checks, con saves, attack rolls, damage rolls, and you're immune to fear. Oh my gosh, this thing makes you super mad. long term. Mm. It's highly addictive. Uh, and once you're addicted, you need it every day. Oh. If you don't get it, you have disadvantage to perception, strength, con saves, attack rolls, damage rolls, dexterity saves, and wisdom saves. And also, due to the fact of long-term, whether you have it or not, if you have it, it's worse. Uh, there's a slow damage to your organs. So eventually you have organ failure. And if you don't have it, you have a 1d10 minus to your hit point max per day until you huh. get a fix. Hmm. Um, okay. Most people who use this, uh, in like it's a, it's a performance drug for sure. Like you've probably like seen people have it where it's like, you know, need that edge for an upcoming performance to look really good and do something really spectacular. There might have even been a few people you knew uh, within the the shield uh, guild that basically you know made, worried about not being tough enough for a, something you know whatever. It's not super, super, super common, but it's around. And someone uh, with your background and you know tons of people in lots of different ilk of life where it's mm -hmm. like you, you've at least heard of it, if not know well about it, if not seen somebody take it. Right. Or who uh, knows, maybe even done it yourself if you want, you know. <laughs> uh, no, certainly not that, but yeah just about all walks of life that Callan has gone through in his life it it sounds like he would have encountered some of that yep uh so Callan's just gonna keep that to yourself or not as yeah <laughs> no 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 Callan is gonna forget that he's like experimenting with the tiny orb would i have noticed that little the, orb in his hands by the no, way no way i mean not, it's, it's yeah, a okay. little baby baby yeah. so <laughs> I'm just holding it. I'm not even being yeah. discreet right now. I'm like, uh, and then, uh, uh, Loon Sensenome, uh, he's holding your baby. The, there's something you need Wait. to know about your friend where, here. Where did you get your, that? Where, where, your uh, stepfather? Uh, uh, get what? What? The smell? The babies. What's the thing you're holding in your hand? My, my uh, orb. No, I don't, what? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, no, listen, listen. Don't get distracted. Focus. <laughs> a uh, focus. Massage. This is serious. <laughs> I think. Um, your uh, stepfather there, your he Smith, has yes. a problem. Uh, he's I'm dying. Smelling, yes. He's got a monkey on his back. <laughs> no, the the tea is a it's a it's a addictive drug. He's got a bad problem. I, I, Loon, Loon has had too much respect for Mr. Smith. I, I, I want to roll insight. Like, are you, are you screwing with me right now? Like, Loon's like really like, yeah, roll an insight. Yeah, and then uh, um, you know. insight of seventeen. He seems like, like, Callan likes to screw around. Yeah, right now, that's... he looks a little disarmed almost, and there, a, a lot of that pretense is not there right now. He actually looks genuinely concerned. Mm -hmm. I am holding up my hands to like honestly, honestly, and the BB's not in my hands. 
uh, it's mage handed behind my back. You turd. <laughs> and, but you don't know that because I no, just I don't told you that. I don't have it. So. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. And I, 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 uh, would like usher him over to the T and I can show you. Look, look, this is this is bad stuff. What is it? I, I, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. It's it's called Crimson Doom. It's got a lot of names around, the, but of course, uh, why would why would it not sound like something incredibly bad? <laughs> yeah, but people use it to get all sorts of strength and and focus, uh, but it it comes at a big price, and basically big of a price. ends up killing you. <sighs> How long do you think he has? Roll me a medicine check, Callan. Just use okay. I'll, oh, I'll yeah. even... Uh, you're not trained in medicine, are you? No. I mean, I, uh, I'll make it a flat roll because... I was going to say, is, is there yeah. anything he could like bounce off me? Like, well, do you know if this or this or that or this? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I'd relay everything I knew about it. So my medicine check is 11. Eleven. Um, okay. Um, I'll say, and we'll even go with, especially with that nat twenty. Whether rumors or you've knew, known somebody, it's like somebody can take this for years. Like it's one of those things where you can totally, kind of, be a functioning addict, addict. with this. But it's like at a certain point, the damage just all of a sudden starts to bleed over beyond what this thing can even do for you and then on top of it you still need this thing otherwise it is a very painful uh way to go out um it's not good so it's like potentially it's like years when did he start right and uh and you know, it's possible he was failing before and he took this just to stick it to them for that much longer too um, Loon, I'll even say just with Theo saying that what you remember of him and then, I mean, uh, this wouldn't even be a stretch for all of you, like no rolling involved. The story you just hold, uh, just heard, uh, that sounds about right of like, this was a way to just give it to him a little bit longer, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, 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 it kind of rings true. Yeah. I, I I I need to find a way for him to not have to worry about this any longer. This is not for him to to handle anymore. It's not he's done be his easy. job, uh, but he's done his job, and now he is killing himself to continue protecting me. But I am able to protect myself. He's, he's dying anyway, Loon. He's not coming out of this one. You're not changing his mind. He's made a pact with this Crimson Doom. And it owns him right now. But you can't ask him how you can help him. Yeah, perhaps. How is he doing out there? Uh, <laughs> Hold on. I've, I've, I've still got yeah. my ears on, but. <laughs> yeah, all, yeah. Your eyes fully dilate like an owl. So, <laughs> <you know. laughs> it's getting dark in here. Um, sun's going down. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So. Out there, you can see that he is sitting out there, uh, and he seems to be just kind of like, just kind of quietly rocking in place. Um, can't really like hear anything. You know, right. it's, I was far enough away as, on top of it, but it's like, seems like he's trying to deal with something. You know, <laughs> like he's got a lot of memories, Loon. You guys all right here? If I go uh, meet up with him, yeah. Right, Are you gonna uh, be all right? I will be fine. If I'm not fine, you have uh, you have your eyes there. Hmm. We're not listening in, but I'll let, I'll know if you squawk to let us know. And I'll just yeah, and and I might even I I, I you wanna, got the earring. I, yeah, I want to take the box with me. Okay. The 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 crimson doom. And uh, I'll 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 head out. Um, on the way, I am going to pocket two of those little packets for myself, and then just kind of shuffle it around a little bit. Oh boy! 
Okay. Um, you have two doses of Crimson Doom. Yep. Um, uh, yeah. I, I know the. What's effect. the odds of an addict knowing how much he has? Right. <laughs> wow. I had 10 more hits. Where are they? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That so, would be a yeah. good investigative check is how many are in there, which might lead to how long he thinks he's got. But Oh, yeah. I mean, just out of care, I mean, how many are there um, left in that in that box? Not to metagame, sorry. No. I'll say, like, to prevent metagaming, as you step out of the cave, yep. you take two out and then start looking at it. Uh, it looks to be, because I actually hadn't thought of that part. So and maybe he's just run into the end of his batch. There were 12 doses. Okay, so there's, okay. So you take two out, there's now 10, yeah. ironically. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, and I'll just uh, begin walking that way, kind of. I mean, the box, is it intricate in any way, or is it just kind of a it's, box? It's uh, literally, think, just like, uh, kind of like hard leather in kind of like a half body kind of shape. And then it's just with a long, like almost think like a rolling scroll of leather. So it rolls up in it and then just with a little leather thong kind of oh, keeps it right. closed. So it's in a kind of a leather hard case, almost looks like yeah. a scroll case, but it unrolls and then it's- There's the, there's the stuff. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. Yeah, I'll just make my way over to where he is. I'm not trying to be like super quiet, but I'm, I'm you know, I'm, I don't want to spook him, but- yeah, I don't want to let everybody. I want to telegraph my position to anybody who might be out here. Yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Yeah. You'll you'll make you'll make your way. Um, yeah, yeah. And uh, whether you're being a little quieter in the beginning, but then as you get a little closer and with an eye shot, you make sure you're known. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll see him, kind of stand, you know, stiffen a little bit and uh, stand up straight, and he just kind of looks back and. He's like, oh, uh, it is okay. Well, it is just me. So, what in God's name did your uncle end up calling you? It's got to <laughs> be better than boy. It's a funny story about that one, actually. It is, uh, he, he gave me some, where were we? We're on the top of some, some hill somewhere, not far from the monastery. He said some elven word, and it stuck with me. Uh, it's something about, uh, oh, what was it? The joys of life, and, and, and there being a light to the person, just emanating a certain uh, beauty about them. Something to that effect. I cannot remember perfectly. It was a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, it, it's similar to, I called your mother always my North Star, my guiding light. Mm -hmm. uh, How long did you know her? Uh, kind of actually stops and thinks for a second. He's like, uh, since we were uh, kids, um, all things, um, I have the pleasure of being with her for 20 years. Um, from when we were just dumb kids to married and what time we had with our uh he kind of shakes his head a little bit and he's like um i guess your half um older brother arthur and uh sister uh dinara i just want that second one uh d-a-n-a-r-a d-a-n-a-r-a dinara and he'll um he was nine um and she was five when they burned our home. Do you know if they made it? I buried I buried them. They were in the house. I thought your mother was there too until she showed up with you. How long? How long did you wait? Uh, uh, what do you mean? The space between. You, you said you thought she was dead and then... Oh, um... Could, it, honestly, it could have been... Uh, two years maybe uh you i'm kind of like like i said that time was a little fuzzy um i wasn't really in a good way but when you showed up you were 
uh, barely walking. So two years, maybe, maybe. She must have been a very strong-willed woman to make it out of that encampment alive like that. Um, well, like I said, um, if you remember, I mean, obviously, <laughs> sorry, if you, Ajinor, as you know, I mean, he's half the man that your mother was. Um, she was... Am I supposed to understand something from that? Uh, kind of looking at your face, and he's like, um, he's your uncle. I've said that. Um, he's your mother's brother. Oh, jeez. Yikes. Lost that one somewhere. Sorry it's about okay. that. It's okay. There was a lot of information. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I lo- yeah. Definitely lost that one somewhere. Uh, yeah. Uh, and it's, and he's like, uh, he Cal is just writing and writing and writing. <laughs> <laughs> if you thought that he was um, tough on you, Emil was a thundercloud when she was set in her ways. It was always interesting that Adronor, uh, even being elder, she was. He never quite looked like us the other elves. Well, you're half. Uh, hmm. And I, I kind of get serious. Technically, half yeah. Eldrin. I, uh, I I I, I kind of get serious for a moment and uh, half present the or I kind of present the case and I hate to get serious on you but how how long how long have I been using that or how long do I have it is both uh, perhaps the second one is more important than the first oh. I feel fit as a fiddle. Probably many months, I'd guess. Uh, maybe another year. Mm. Uh, understand, I am not judging you. You you have done exactly what you thought was necessary to do for as long as you've been meaning to do it. I could give a shit if you were. Uh, I did I, it for your mother. That is fair. Uh, you don't have to do it anymore. I understand you probably will because of your love for her. But I think it is time that I take this mantle, I take this responsibility and begin to uncover perhaps the meaning behind why. Instead of hiding and fighting, perhaps uncovering, discovering. I told you they're not big talkers. Who said I intended to talk to them? Who are you going to talk to? Well, it's a very wide world, and uh, considering I've got some a little bit of leeway now, as soon as the Scalebound Guild, I'm sure I can find someone who knows something about something. Okay, apparently uh, you've grown up and are all got yourself all connected. Uh, you would not go that That's... far. Hey, you, you showed up here and uh, fallen from the sky. Um, who that was I... a fluke. <laughs> You know, funny thing about fluke, most common fish in the sea. So if you go fishing, there's a good chance you'll catch a fluke. I did not know you were a monk. Oh, Aginor said a lot of things. Some of them stick. Don't tell him I said that. I don't want to give him (laughs) any credit. He has a big enough head kind of chuckle with him at that one and I'll, I'll just hand the case over and he'll stash it and he's like yeah. I'm going to keep taking this I because guess. at this point I'm telling you I'd rather go out in a fashion of a quick death from one of them than what this is going to do to me if I stop uh, what is it that they call it in the showbiz a blaze of glory as it were sounds about right I can't say that I hate you anymore. You are a... I'm still a bastard. It's all right. Eh, I cannot even say that. You have done exactly what you thought you needed to do as long as you thought you needed to do it. I could have gave you an actual name. Eh, yes. But uh, I quite enjoy this one. To be fair, I think it suits me. Good. Um, I mean... I feel a sense of peace here. 
there is a be- certain beauty to this uh, part of the world. This, uh, what is it called? The Deadwood? Yeah, that's, and it, like, kind of looking around, like, you're at a creek, and yeah. if you look only here, it's yeah. like, there is a little bit of kind of that autumn feel. Yeah. But once you look back around again after you've been saying that, and he'll look very, like, really? You know, like, this forest even though it hasn't been had a forest fire lately looks burnt. that's the style of no it doesn't look burnt but like that style of just bare tall thin you know like everything looks like it's a spear mm-hmm. like of a tree you know everything you know we were and, lucky not to get speared coming in yeah right? <laughs> it's like and he's just kind of looks at me, he's like i mean once you look a past bit the twisted, uh... <laughs> There's a bitter starkness of it all. There is a, a certain beauty to there being this essence of undeath. This undeath. Uh, perhaps it is a wrong word thing. Uh, this, everything here looks dead, but there is a, an energy behind that. There is a, a, a certain amount of uh, what is dead could come back to life. Eh? Yeah. I mean, gave us a second chance, I guess. Uh, I mean, if you don't mind a dying man's wish, kind of twisted smile, sits down and he's like, tell me about you. And we're going to pause there because you can do an info dump. Yeah, yeah. If you choose to. Uh, Theobald, Callan, you two are... Mm -hmm back in the cave uh theobald every now and then you're kind of going in and out you know checking uh and just yep they're not fighting yet (laughs) (laughs) oh nope there's the box yep he's showing him the box you know (laughs) we don't Um, don't have to pull balloon out of the creek just yet (laughs) uh and during kind of like and you guys you guys give a shit, you know? So you are kind of mother henning a little bit. and just mm. like, nope, he's still good. Nope. They're laughing. You, okay. They're laughing. Uh, Callan, you're going to get just a weird little vibration in your uh, pocket where you keep that flask. Okay. Uh, so you guys are, I mean, I think I need some on. air. <laughs> <laughs> uh, w- yeah, I'll, Stay here, Theobald. Sure. <laughs> I, well, Chris, were you saying that for him, or were was Theobald saying you needed air? Because oh, <laughs> I think he thinks <laughs> Theobald was saying that. <laughs> oh, I was joke. Chris was joking. Okay. <laughs> Something's going on with this flask. I think I, I think Theobald needs some air, but yeah. I was joking. Mm. It's a joke. Okay. <laughs> I'm I'm oblivious. I'm sitting down by the fire. Mm-hmm. Half right. in, half out. <laughs> half in, half out. We're in a moment of we got a bit of a fortress around us and we're surrounded. So I'm just just resting, even though I'm completely okay. rested. Well, I was gonna start poking around the cave, but now I've got this buzzing in my pocket, so I need to check that out. You're being paged. <laughs> oh, I gotta I gotta call there. <laughs> <laughs> so paging Dr. Den, Dr. Den. Callan, you you know. <laughs> take that out of your pocket and just kind of open it and take just a little sip and uh uh you'll you'll all of a sudden just hear just seeing as i just heard it anyway somebody did it you'll you almost hear that whistle you know like you know hey i can't my whistle's abysmal (laughs) thank you cue whistle hey (laughs) come here cat call you know (laughs) yeah that uh and like it sounds like it's coming from outside the cave uh, oh, oh dear! Oh, oh, oh dear! Uh, okay. You kind of uh, look over at Theobald; he's not reacting to it, and you hear it again. And you kind of look towards the mouth, and you can actually see uh, there's some moss again in that corner by the rocks. That's whistling. It's got a face, <laughs> and it, it just like <laughs> kind of moves. And he's like, "Hey, hey, hey!" Oh yeah. But I got to go right over there and see what, right. what's up. Yeah, and he just kind of looks over at Theobald and he's like, uh, you got a, you got a meeting. Uh, All oh, right. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll keep him busy. I got you. Okay. 
All right, I'm uh, I'm ready. I'm signing in right now, logging in. Okay. So as you start to walk out, you see the moss just look, you know, nod to you, then look back at Theobald and just. <laughs> <laughs> and you walk out. <laughs> uh, you walk a little ways. Uh, and all of a sudden, like, you kind of, like, because, like, trees and leaves are kind of twitching and moving and you kind of follow the path and eventually path you know some thick brush and stuff and you kind of go through uh and it's all really like autumn colors red leaves and all that and kind of break through and all of a sudden you're in this like really green patch hmm. and sitting at a table made from a stump you'll see um a chair You'll see a box, like a little chest. And then off to the side, there's like one bush. And as you start to walk in, all of a sudden the bush ignites into fire. Ooh. And you'll hear, prepare for Terrafin. Terrafin shall visit. And you're like, kind of like, okay. Like you're just watching, you get a little the showmanship he's you know going for and then all of a sudden behind you you hear someone trip and he, and <laughs> he kind of comes out and you see like he's got like a cape that's half over his head and he flips it back and he's just like Kellen my man how are you doing and he'll go over and he'll nice. have a seat I'm so happy you could make our meeting uh, yeah, it's it's always good to catch up with you. Uh, I, I think we have a lot to discuss. Uh, got a lot of big plans that we want to run by you. So, uh, oh gosh. But I'll, Excellent. I'll let you, uh, I have things to bestow upon my vassal. Wow. Ah, uh, oh, uh, I see you. Uh, did you. Did you maybe get a promotion lately? Or? Oh, promotion or more followers man you did it i knew you'd be the one that fire holy crap that did a lot for my numbers like sir i'm sorry all this i couldn't help myself i had to do a little something something this is special uh but like seriously man like like everything's going terrafin's way and you are the reason Callan den and so here we are i just want to have a little powwow a little talk see uh See how you're doing check in uh maybe uh give you a little promotion uh you know so how, how how's everything going this is such a kind of a you know bummer of a location but i tried to spruce it up a little bit uh, a little a little bit unexpected but uh you know you, you picked the right guy i think i can leverage uh any situation into a little more of a bump for you every chance i get i i'm uh, and, feeling it i'm feeling it Good, Have good. You seen the muscles, like I'm starting to actually get a little something here. I'm not even working out, man. <laughs> As suits you, of course. Stop yes, that. you're too, you're too much. <laughs> so, uh, yes, a uh, uh, bestowing. You said. Uh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, I wasn't gonna go right into it, but I figure, heck, you're my guy. You've done really good for me lately, and so he kind of turns the box around, slides it towards. You. He's like. I might have got you. So, oh crap! He turns it back around, faces him, and he's like, "Hey, um, not everything works the way that it always works." And you know those rules. Remember the rules. Yes, yes. Rules. I got something for you, but I have to have something from you. Oh, could I borrow your mask, man? Uh oh, my mask. Yeah, like I know it's super like important to you, and I swear you're gonna get it back. Hmm. So take a look at it before. Yeah, the the, the design of it is pretty meaningful to me. But hey, you trust me, I trust you. Thank you, man. And he opens the box and puts the box, it puts it inside the box, shuts it, and then turns around. I got you something. Ooh. May I? By all means. <laughs> okay. Uh, dramatic, slow opening. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. 
you inside <laughs> see your mask. Hey! And he's like, kind of over the rim of it, he's like, <laughs> and he kind of looks over and he's like, slams it down. He's like, hold on. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. Opens it again. <laughs> yeah. This time, when it opens, I'll let you tell me uh, the color scheme and maybe some finer uh, details. Uh, are you familiar with the style of uh, what are they called? Witch hunter hats? They're a mixture kind of between a wizard's hat and like a pilgrim hat, like that in mm -hmm. between. That's kind of the shape of the hat. What color? Uh, and like you think of the same kind of like thought was almost that metallic-y the way the mask was mm -hmm. uh, otherwise but you tell me how, how what color is it well it would be mostly black uh accented with emerald and gold okay Ooh. so it is black in color but depending on the way the light hits it it takes on those extra sheens and then around the outside where normally the hat band would be that's all like uh think like vineyard grape ivy hmm. and hmm. on it are three flowers uh for you callan so you, or for you mick so you understand uh this is with the level up that you're taking the embodiment of your book of shadows and each uh -huh. of the flowers Ooh is one of the additional spells you now know that being said with some of the other things here we've talked about as you uh feed it new things new spells it'll take on more flowers ah. that makes sense yeah okay uh so he'll open it up and he'll be happy that it's actually what it's supposed to be right now uh and he'll he's like try it on try it on try it on all right. It's like it'll totally fit, trust me. <laughs> yep, definitely. So if it's a fancy hat like that, it'll do oh, a yeah. flourish and a little land on there. And, and he's like adjust and how do I look? You look perfect. Like you're, feels great. You know, seriously, and he kind of just snaps over and all of a sudden like a tree half knocks down and then the rest of it carves into like the way you were just positioning yourself. <laughs> and he's just like, got it. Ah. <laughs> So, so I want to try something because now I'm going to point next to the tree mm -hmm. and I want to make the dirt next to the tree do the same thing, but look more like Terrafin. Oh, yeah. You, you reach out and the earth starts to twist and shape up and all of a sudden you see kind of a, a, a Terrafin-esque. It's a, a little, little less fine. It's your first time. But it's very much, you can see it's And he's just like, oh. Ah. You're going to make me cry, man. <laughs> like, that's. <laughs> and he'll just reach over the table and give you a big hug. He's like, God dang you mortals. I'm so, like, you're so thoughtful. You didn't have to do that. Like, that's why you're my guy. <laughs> These are simple things. The Terrafin, come on. You need to be shared with the entire universe as soon as possible. Yes. I like, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Callan. Um, so, yeah, uh, I guess that's, that's what I have for you right now. I got some stuff in the works. I've got some of my new recruits doing a little bit of like work, hopefully getting some of that information because I sent two of them to Beacon. And they're looking into some peeps that uh, I know you are definitely going to be interested about. But I don't know everything yet, but it's coming. Okay. Or they'll die. But, uh, you know, <laughs> I can't uh, control everything. I mean, they're mortals. They have some free reign. And if they do something <sighs> stupid, they die. And, you know, just, you know, do what you can to make sure the people they're looking <laughs> into don't die. Yikes. I'd appreciate that. You know, for you, man, I'll maybe give them a little extra, a little extra oomph. Uh, in the uh, pew, pew pew how about that? Pew, pew, pew. That could that could work out. Right. I I got you. I got you. You got me. We got each other. This is 
He looks at the statue again. He's like, it's good to do it every time. I'm, <laughs> in, I'm taking that with me. Oh, by all means. It, you know, it's my first try. I, I, I'm going to work on the technique and maybe we'll just spread those around the world. What do you think? Golly. You'll see kind of almost the cartoon eyes where they get glassy. Just like, <laughs> I would like that very much, Callan Dad. All right, all right. I got, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta. Go. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You keep being you, and he <sighs> just. And all of a sudden, there's like a flash and green smoke, and you, you, like some plants are in the shape of a bush pointing at you, and he's gone. <laughs> so I can saunter back to where Theobald was. Yeah, make your way back. All right, tied up. <laughs> yeah. so yeah i'm just uh taking that whole thing in stride and get the hat yeah, on he and, has uh, a new hat that's kind of odd um yeah and nothing's happened while uh he was gone that uh, yeah. anyone knows about so uh, also i'm a little curious about. uh since uh Lincensinome and mr smith are gone mm. poking around seeing what's around and if there's anything else weird so I'll take a gander with the monocle. Okay. Ah. Uh, roll me an arcana check. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, 16. 16. Um, you are not seeing anything magical in any, like in any essence outside of anything you all have. Cool. Then I'm just going to start poking around stuff. Okay. It's just kind of root and roll. Roll me an investigation. That is a 22. 22. All right. Uh, you will kind of look around. You'll find, you know, some dried food, stuff like that. You see, it looks like he's got uh, the beginnings of uh, a lot of like things that were probably for like traps or the beginnings of like uh, even just like the equivalent of just like uh, uh, like shivs, like or, you know, wooden stake, like anything that can be mm -hmm. just made into something sharp and deadly you know uh um, catches you i ain't stepping in callan <laughs> well do you think we need to be worried about those goliaths right now yeah i think we he said we're surrounded i think we should be worried about them hmm we can't do anything about it right at this exact moment right but yes we we should be worried about them but i think uh until tomorrow when we can call blink again and get a beat on where our pickup is Sitting tight seems to be a pretty smart thing to do. Yeah. Or we could go provoke them and lure them into a trap. Or, oh, of or course we, we could do that. Or yeah. we could do that. We could. No, we, 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 <laughs> or we could sit tight. Uh, yeah, good options. Good options. Okay. About that time, um, you're going like uh, Loon. You're going to like after having. A pretty good, like I, I wouldn't say it's a, it's a uh, like a hugging moment, uh, but like he's genuinely curious about your life, and you kind of tell him really everything that uh, seems important, mm -hmm. and he yeah. shares a little bit more just about uh, your mother, Emil, a little bit more, just uh, just talking about who she was and things like that. Um, and eventually you two will start to make your way back. And as you do, I'm not telling Callan at all. Uh, <laughs> as you do, sitting back. Um, oh boy, he, he kind of, uh, as you're getting like, uh, probably like you're in the area, you can see where it is. Uh, and you kind of see him kind of like, well, seriously, I'm going to go check on a few traps uh for more supper things of that nature um give me give me like 30 minutes um if i'm not back uh concern it shouldn't take me that long um just are you sure any kind of points extra help I, I i have plenty of tracking uh experience uh, myself he's like now oh, yeah tell your friends everything's fine and uh I'm not going to keel over or whatever. They probably think I'm some drug head or I don't know, something. And he just kind of just 
I'm fine. Okay. Um, so you watch him kind of walk off. Yeah, let him go. Yep. And then you turn back towards the cave and start to make your way towards it. And of course, that piece of paper is not right there. Um, okay. Uh, <laughs> so as you turn and start to walk back, um, immediately you're going to see like the the cave and then you're going to hear in the distance uh, what sounds like an anvil like a ting ting off in the distance I am going to I imagine Owl is still floating around somewhere and I'm just going to I'm going to look up and do kind of one of these and hope to get some kind of attention. And I'm just going to point in the sound that the direction is, and I'm going to start walking that way. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you make that motion. Well, no, I, and, one, one other thing I'd say, I'd point to my ear once and then move off that way. Okay. Yeah. You, you see all that Theobald stupid. <laughs> I've got the earring. Uh, and as, as he starts to walk <laughs> off and you're, like kind of just about sending pointing that. at his ear for some i don't like <laughs> is the earring not working like is his communicator out like yeah and as i'm walking like oh, there. <laughs> loon loon can you hear me are you okay wait oh stop <laughs> sorry gosh i got it is, is, is this working uh as, if i yell louder you start to have those thoughts yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you start to think also i would like to keep up yeah yeah You'll feel the maiden kind of a, a kind of the set, like it's not physical, but in your mind, kind of just like a hand on your shoulder and just kind of like, he's okay. Okay. Um, hmm. And Owl does not follow him. Loon, you uh, go walking and following that sound. Yeah. Um, kind of being a little sneaky, I would assume, in the beginning. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not definitely not trying to make my presence known here. Yeah, uh, and you hear that sound of that anvil over and over and over, and it, and like you're kind of looking for it. And as you're moving through, the, the you don't even notice. Like it seems to almost get darker. Like night is falling, uh -huh. and as you break into this opening near a river, you can see some shape of an anvil that looks like it's grown from the ground like a tree that is wood mm -hmm. and as it takes the shape of the top of the anvil it looks like metal and resting on it is a hammer and coming from the river looks like stones that have been stacked very precisely and a forge burning brightly there is this place I, I i is there any like there is no one around and if anything it kind of like there's suddenly this kind of just the only light in the area almost like the moon shining down is over the spot i'll i kind of go forward and inspect the hammer looking for a mark like like the the, the blacksmith's mark like where's his mark on his hammer you know mm -hmm. um uh, uh, even if i have to pick it up to kind of turn it over and look at it um other than it is probably the most ordinary hammer you have ever seen in your life nothing spectacular about it in any it's way shape or form also the most unordinary hammer you have ever seen in your life right. like it looks normal but the uh, second you touch it you can feel like this doesn't belong here this uh, isn't made to be here you know yeah. like it, it feels out of place it feels out of time it just feels off the anvil does too uh, and, and the anvil it, it yeah that weird wood into into metal that's odd yeah but i heard it, i heard i heard tinging like where where yeah. was that coming from like there's no yeah you look no, around there's and no there's no steel yeah there, uh, there's you know there's no one working here and you kind of looking over and 
there does look to be a like a small billet in the fire in the actual forge. Going. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'll go and I'll kind of yank it and pull it. I mean, can I? Obviously, it's going to be glowing at this point. Yeah. But is there any way to know what it is? Uh, roll, uh, roll me uh, a blacksmith check. Basically, use your proficiency with yeah. uh, intelligence. Okay. So 15 plus two plus my intelligence of negative one. So 15 plus one is 16. 16. Um, you do not know what this metal is. Okay. But the weird um, thing is it has nothing to do with because you don't know because it's glowing that it's like is that iron is that what no it's because it's making a weird sh- like shimmery thing and you've only seen this one other time when somebody oh. made a weave yeah 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 and it's the very beginning traces of it like where you can almost see the pattern in the as an infant being that, formed that 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 almost Damascus like yeah um it hasn't been worked yet is is it is it is it at a working temperature oh yeah okay i'll pull it over and i i i feel compelled to start banging on it with the hammer yeah and you start, start working on it I, at a I, feverish I don't know what pace. i'm forming I, no. I have no idea what i'm forming and it's kind of one of those things where you you kind of half go into this like fugue state where it's mm-hmm. like as sculptors talk about when they look at a block of stone where it's like I didn't make that shape I just took away all the excess stuff yeah yep. the shape was already in there and it's like yep. and that's where you're at and you feel it every time you I mean you don't ever have that feeling of like a missed swing a missed yep. hit every single thing is important and the way you work it and by the time uh you you like it feel like feels like hours days seconds like it's hard to tell how much yeah. time goes by you finally get done and you quench oh we lost you there what happened I hit mute. Okay. <laughs> it was in my lap and I put my hand oh, down and I punched I, like, the mute. You paused after that. I'm like, oh crap, what are you saying? I, uh, I, uh, <laughs> he went through a tunnel. It's okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, as you, you quench into the, yeah. the river, pull it out. And uh, because it's important and... I'm going to spend literally the two seconds trying to find it because I want it because I took the time to make sure uh-huh. I had it uh-huh. and I was responsible and uh-huh. I used my time wisely. Uh-huh. I did all the things a good DM does uh-huh. <laughs> and I can't find it. <laughs> I put it right here so I wouldn't lose it. The dog ate it. Oh, there it goes. Uh, um, uh, okay, so you're gonna have to help me uh, there, Theobald. Um, so it is a about the size of like it's perfect for like a belt buckle, and it has two stretching lines that you can tell even in the metal with the way that the temperatures were worked the way that the weave kind of took place. One is a much darker line than the other one. And inset on top of it is um, Theobald. I, I drew it. So I had it. Uh, it's a chalice. The, a chalice the ch- I don't know why I want to say a crook. And I, I know why I want to, Isn't cause I was thinking bird. No, no, like a shepherd's crook, but oh. more like the, the black stat, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, no, yeah and a chalice and you finish and i mean it's it's masterwork like it's it's gorgeous and you just have that like just you know you're sweating and that divine inspiration kind of moment of like this came out of me and then what near near the edge of the creek you kind of like hear it first you hear someone splashing a little bit and you look over and you see a little girl in just a simple plain little dress 
and she's smiling and wading her feet in the water and she's like looks up at you and it's the warmest feeling uh, like imagine if a look could wrap you up in a blanket and make you feel safe mm. yeah <laughs> And she smiles at you and looks and she just, you've been going through a lot, haven't you? I, I, how, yeah, uh, who, what are you doing here? This is not a safe place for a small child to be. Uh, where are your parents? Uh, how do you know that? It's okay, Luna. Uh, uh, you're, you're safe here. And yes. can't. Looking around, you kind of realize you are safe here. Like, yeah. it's just kind of that thinking about it after you've said those words. It's like, of course I'm safe here. Oh, well, yeah. What, uh, yeah. yeah. And she's, you've all come so far. And you've all done a lot of things already. And the road is not always the easiest. That, you did a beautiful job with that. Uh, well, thank you. I, 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 I truthfully don't even know where it came from, but uh, it oh, is... that's that's what was in you. Maybe some inspiration, but it was a part of you. Uh, um, uh, who are you? I'm just a little girl by the river. Right. I'm you should probably to... you should give that to Theobald. I think, I think coming from you, that'll be something important. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I, 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 I would do that. Um, Your father's uh, gonna be okay. You know that. Ah, uh, yes. He is an old man, and I suppose he is going to go the way he is going to go. But uh, it's... no, one sense no. No matter what happens, he's gonna be okay. I promise. And you kind of, she kind of looks past into where the darkness is. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I have a special place for people like him. He has a purpose even after everything else here. Who are you? Just a little girl enjoying the water. But you're going to be okay. I, I would ask to make a religion check, but I know it's useless. <laughs> make a religion check, man. <laughs> okay. Come on, using the good dice. Here we go. <gasps> you don't have to show me. What is it? <laughs> it's a freaking natural 20! <laughs> so, for no I mean, reason. Not that it's going to do me any good. No, but... but no, I'll reward a nat 20, man. Uh, so as oh. kind of like, you're like, who are you? You know? Uh -huh. and the fact that she talked about Theobald and giving that to him and you can just from whether it be from teachings back at the monastery going through things and it's just like something about her tra like the maiden oh, and it is she's really a kind of old world fairy tale almost of like things like you've never heard anyone talk about the maiden ever ever uh because yeah. uh, the gods are the dragon gods if anything she'd be like you think of like dying soldiers talking of seeing a little girl uh you know sure. like weird things but it's like you've heard of her somehow maybe it's the symbol maybe it's the you know it's something somewhere it's like the maiden comes to your mind and what maybe it was just a fact maybe theobald said that once you know I, I don't know but that's the word well, he says it with his spells maiden guide you made this maybe yeah that. maybe yeah. maybe that's all it is but the second it pops in your head it just feels right yeah all right cool and she like Thank you know you. <laughs> i just want you to know they'll be okay too yeah. I know what you're thinking about already and they'll be okay. I'll keep an eye on them. Okay. 
thank you, I, I, I suppose. Um, I, I better get back. They're probably uh, worried about me. Have a take the time. Try to try to understand and maybe help your friend understand that sometimes all you need to do is have faith in faith. It doesn't have to be clear. And not you don't have to be angry about not knowing all the time. Is is his is his stuff is that the good thing? That? I'm sorry. It just no. popped into my head. No. Uh, yeah. Um, she wasn't even talking about him at that moment. Um, oh, she was talking about Callan. Yep. Um, but I didn't think about that. that I, role, talking... I made her. I made a roll. Um, she's like, it's complicated. So is this your but answer? Is no. Nothing in life truly ever is a clear path and he has the free will to choose the wrong one oh but it doesn't make it any less useful You are talking about uh, the Kalun. You are not talking about Seabol, were you? Ah, Kalun. Yes. And as you kind of like, you were talking about him and, like, and rethinking it as like of what she just said, she also, she just kind of goes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like maybe both. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I think, um, they're, they're, they're going to start looking for you soon. Oh, yes, I actually my, I need to check on my father. He said a half an hour. I don't have how much time has passed. Holy. Um, like, you won't be late for dinner. Ah, and she kind of turns back and starts just playing in the waters again. Hmm. I'll, yeah, I just kind of. Hmm. And I'll look at the, the piece again and just kind Gorgeous. of admi admi admire the work for a minute and just kind of look back over my shoulder as I head out. You're like maybe 20 feet from the cave. Holy. You can write down, by the way, uh, whether or not you can replicate it. Good. Yeah. You have created divine weave. A All right. Well, that's uh, that's certainly important to know. <laughs> All right, cool. Divine weave. I am going to kind of collect myself for a second. And yeah, uh, I can understand. Uh, back in the cave, <laughs> yeah. Theobald, Callan, uh, you've been rooting around, uh, Callan, and Theobald, <laughs> you you've uh, kind of been watching, uh, and then at a certain point, after feeling that moment, uh, you feel Owl kind of just be like, "I'm going to take a break." and you can't communicate with him. It wasn't rude, but it was just like I, after, and, and you get that sense just from that. It was like, oh, we're offline for a little bit, <laughs> you know? Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and huh. all of a sudden you have that, like, and you didn't really realize it because most of the time you always have that connection with Owl and all of a sudden that connection comes back and Owl is there, and you see Loon standing outside the cave. And he is looks uh, like somebody who just got off a roller coaster for the first time. A little you thrown know? off, yeah. <laughs> just like, whoo, you know, <laughs> terra firma. <laughs> you know? Uh -huh. But maybe five I think settle back five. down again then. I think Callan just had some weird compulsion to make dinner all of a sudden <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah so it won't be yeah, you're just either. like oh no, no, no. it's like it's rooting around and uh, i haven't had this i one am hungry time. is anybody else <laughs> hungry yeah uh yeah so you'll start nice. working up some grub and shortly after uh loon how long do you stay out there i i mean i'd, I'd probably give myself a good minute or two before just like okay. really just kind of 
okay, collecting myself, like just internalizing everything for just a yeah. minute. Whenever um, you're ready, you may enter. Yeah. Uh, it, it'll still be a little bit. So you guys, if you want it, have a moment before uh, Mr. Smith shows up with. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll come back into the cave and. Uh, well, Galen, it looks like you're still keeping yourself quite busy. At uh, what are you making? Oh, good. You're not late for dinner. Uh, uh, just, well, uh, uh, if he's paying any attention, kind of a bing, like what the. <laughs> Callan, deja vu. Thank, thank you <laughs> for that. That. <laughs> yeah, I'll be watching Loon pretty closely and just. Yeah. How How are you doing, Loon? How's your father? Uh, he will be fine. Uh, he's doing well. Uh, he went to go check a couple of traps for uh, as uh, dinner and things. Uh, but it looks like Kalun has that uh, well under hand as it is. Um, you know, I found something for you out there. Uh, you found there... something. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was fantastical. It's like time and space stopped for a moment. And then there was. You didn't drink any of your father's tea. No, 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 no. I still have, and I'll show him the two. You didn't drink anything that Callan gave you. Callan has not given me anything. (laughs) In fact, he still has my orb. Uh, Oh, yeah, you (laughs) dropped this, Loon. And thank you. (laughs) A mage handed over to him. Uh, yeah, I'll just kind of whack it out of the air with my, yeah, just grab it. By the way, you've never seen a spectral hand float through the air and hand. Oh, it's you. actually, it's not it's just levitating. Hand. It's, it's an actual hand. hand. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm busy I, cooking yet. I so. would rather you not ever do that again. Um, and I'll just kind of take it. <laughs> I second that. <laughs> <laughs> um, come in handy. And, I'll just kind of, kind of explain the setting and then I'll just, and this, this, uh, <laughs> like the whole forge and everything and i'll just like uh, procure the 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 symbol on the uh, uh, on the little tablet and i'll just she said it was for you you spoke with the little girl you saw the you saw her it was a little girl she was in the lake uh, or not the lake the river uh, she told me everything would be okay is that uh perhaps not knowing everything is not so bad after all but, uh, she did not ask, say it outright, but uh, you have your own decisions to make. And uh, even if you are making the wrong ones, that they are still your decisions to make. Theobald's just going to look stunned and relieved and stunned on top of stunned. And I'm just going to kind of lean forward, grab his hand, and just place the <laughs> tablet in his hand. Belt buckle. Belt buckle. Sorry. But sorry. Uh, this is for you. Um, it divine where, inspiration as it were where where did you find you this is what you found well found is a very loose term uh <laughs> stole I, I please see a boat you know me better than this huh you've been hanging out with us a long time i simply did with the materials that i had what i felt was necessary you made this yes I, I wanted to be humble about it, but yes, if you are asking me, oh, I made this. It's 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 beautiful, Loon. How how did you make this? I do not think that I did. I was a vessel. Humble my too. My <laughs> the strokes were mine, but the inspiration was not. You're telling me that you were forging this off somewhere and in the middle of nowhere. It is just as fantastical as I experienced it. I, I literally walked out of this clearing as I am 20 feet in front of this cave again. I do not know how I am here. So Theo's going to be clutching the belt, the buckle really tightly. But she says it will be okay. That it Little will girl be... in the river? Is that, is that what you're talking about? Yes. And Theo, you know this little girl in the river? I, I believe he knows her quite well. If, if, if uh, my memory, which is not all, always so great, uh, serves me well, she is the maiden. Are you guys both on Crimson Doom right now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a little bit of eu- euphoric uh, uh, you know, leftovers, yeah. When you when you take He's it. I mean, it... <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, weirdos. Please, this is not the weirdest thing. You talk to Moss. 
What? Set what on the other doing? side of the cave, he's just like. <laughs> 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 Behind Theobald and Loon, the moss just. <laughs> moss gets me. Uh, Dusting its tie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh gosh, that's good stuff. Points at Where? Theobald. <laughs> <laughs> Is she still and, there? What? Uh, I where she is no longer. Start... I, I I do not truly know where I went. Uh, if I am completely honest with you, I, I was simply following a noise because I thought it was rather odd that I would be hearing a forage in the middle of this forest. Uh, but uh, here we are. You saw her. I I did, and I I'll even describe her in as best detail as I can to him. A simple dress, small girl. I mean, what blonde hair, brown hair? Don't know. Um, in that moment, you tell me. I like, yeah. I, like honestly, it's one of those things where it doesn't matter what you describe. Yeah. Same thing, even if you saw it different. It's one of those. It's yeah. like no, it's her. You know. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I describe her in as full detail as I can to you. It's her. What else did she say? Uh, nothing of a terrible amount of consequence. Uh, she just made me feel safe, comforted, made me know that it was all going to be okay no matter what happened, that uh, we all have our paths, and uh, in those, we are going to be okay. I... Lud, you said before that you thought you're th you were thinking that you're, you're nobody, that you were just an ordinary person, but one of my, when I fell in the cave and I met my father in a place like that, where he was fighting for her, fighting for me, for us, he sent me back and he said, they're sending me back because you two needed me. My friends needed me. You're not nobody. There's a purpose for us. There's a purpose for you at least. And I mm. was sent back to get you, to help you, to get you Maybe here, maybe I don't know where, but you're not nobody, Loon. Kellen, you're not nobody. It is amazing how the fates intertwine, huh? I just kind of, and I'll kind of sit down with that, like just kind of mulling that over with the. Uh, Kellen, do you have any fresh hot water over there? I, I would like to make another uh, cup of tea. Fresh water? Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, and I'll. Kellen, um, as. All of this is being traded back and forth, and you're hearing all this, and you're hearing uh, what Theobald's saying. Um, and just some of it is like, I don't know, hearing it, in a, hearing it in another way, maybe. I don't know. But something about it just strikes home a little truer this time of like having faith without necessarily. I forgot that everything. part. I'm sorry. My, well, no, you're my talking, memory uh, is shit. It's okay. I'm, I'll spoon feed it. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> as Theobald talks about as well, like what he went through and that he was sent back and that, you know, Loon's important and you're important. Like I'm here for like, you're somebody. And then Loon asks you for, you know, so like, you don't even remember what he, what he was asking for. You just kind of, Oh, and you look down and one of the knots is a part in your fingers and hey look at that i told you you could do it you just hey. kind of yeah have a wash of a lot of different thoughts but something inside of you feels like it just untied a little you're right i was not even thinking about it and i did it hmm. would you like some and I'll just hand him the, the cup of tea. Mm. Of course. And I made dumplings, everybody. Ooh. And he's got a hat, by the way, Loon. Mm. Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Why, why, did, why did I not know this? Is, what is that fantastic contraption upon your head? Uh, yeah, I'm a wizard now. 
Oh, well, I thought that was already knowledge, but uh, <laughs> mm. yes, is is it just completely ensemble, eh? Oh, yeah. where's the mustache? Uh. <laughs> oh yes, you need one of those. They need to be about out here, like the nice long right. ones <laughs> against the wax. Uh, I've got plenty of those. <laughs> this guy's kid has plenty of mustaches. I could just oh, illusion it go. on. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, you could. Or actually, what's the fun in that? Or actually, just yeah. actually have a mustache. It, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, it would be like if I just took this, made it into a mustache. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. It's glorious. <laughs> it is when I do that too. Yeah. Uh, that's great. I love it. <laughs> I love uh, it. Okay. Right. Uh, so the. Uh, I'm to I I suit your tastes well. I hope the uh, dumplings suit your tastes well. Uh, have Adam. Well, I guess. So, well, uh, hold on. How long has it been since I've been gone? Ten minutes max. Huh. Okay. So yeah. Okay. It, yeah. So I, I'll I'll let him know that now. Uh, my father he said uh, to check in on him if he's longer than a half an hour. Uh, if if it's that Lynn, long, then there is. Lynn, we're gonna. That's gonna be maybe a mental note. Um, you guys kind of, for the first time in what feels like a long time since all of this started, actually in just enjoy a meal together, hmm. share some laughs. Like you kind of make mental of like, it hasn't been that long. Maybe I should, you enjoy this moment mm -hmm. as you guys mm -hmm. share some dumplings, some tea, mm -hmm. have some crazy moments that have just been kind of rolled out in all around you uh details of the past shared family links and destinies and you all kind of sit around eating dumplings giggling about the idea of a mustache ah uh, yeah and that's where we're going to end this episode this week uh. a moment in a cave with some <sighs> friends having a nice time thank you everybody who joined us uh this will be on youtube uh within the next 24 hours look for uh new episodes of dungeon patrol as well uh we are here on monsters of roll on twitch every tuesday night at 7 p.m central time uh send in your inspiration send in your what's in callan's mouth to down with dragons at <laughs> gmail. Did anything com. come up this time? And also, also to the same oh. email. Any ideas for what three and four should be for using those inspiration points? I am open to some suggestions. I mean, I could just put something down, but I want I want some feedback from the fans. Let's get involved. Uh, until then, everyone have a great week. Be safe, be responsible, take care of each other. Till next Tuesday. Have a good week. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Jerry might have forgot. <laughs> <laughs> okay, post credit yeah. scene. Post credits, yeah. Yeah. All right, um, cool. Hey guys, what do you what do you think happened to Diana? Ooh, I can uh, check up on her. So crazy. Yeah, you could. Um, oh, we what should. do you say? I say, hey, Diana, Callan we here. Sorry we separated. Hope you are okay. Feel like you're maybe a werewolf. If so, <laughs> really want to take you shopping. <laughs>